climate change gets its own news desk, baby poo dissected, and Tree Hugger TV premieres on Planet Green. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Wednesday, April 21st. The announcement Tuesday of a major media partnership will see the launch of Climate Desk, a collaboration dedicated to covering climate change. The partnership, which has been in the works since last year, will see The Atlantic, Mother Jones, Slate, Grist, Wired, the Centre for Investigative Reporting and the PBS Current Affairs program Need to Know pull resources for a multi-platform approach to exploring the impact of climate change. The Atlantic editor Bob Cohen says collaboration can help cover expansion topics with dwindling resources. Now I'd like to introduce a brand new segment from Damien Somerset of Shift Logic called Wacky Wednesday. Thanks Sarah. Dark Lord recently submitted a triple pundit story about a company called No Waste in the UK that plans to recycle the most hazardous substance known to man. That's right, you guessed it, baby's poo. The problem is an average baby goes through about 5,000 diapers by the time he or she is potty trained, and those diapers take about 500 years to decompose. No Waste claims they can remove 98% of the disposable diaper from the waste stream. The company plans to use the recycled plastic for things like wallpaper, bicycle helmets, and roofing tiles. But before they can get to the plastic, the diapers have to go through a shredder. I wonder who has to clean that thing. You see, Sarah? I guess there are worse things than being unemployed. Indeed. And finally, from online to on air, the planet's best green website, Treehugger, made its television debut on Planet Green last night. The six episode series will cater to the crunchy and the curious, with stories on everything from alien technology to dirt tasting. Be sure to set your TiVos for future episodes of Treehugger TV. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.